I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. Ooh, that is nice. Hi, I'm John McLucas. I'm a traveling pop producer up here in Northern California, and I can't wait to unpack a couple of these secret workaround ways that you can make vocal stacks that sound beautiful, that sound huge, and can fill out your song. Again, this requires very little or no music theory knowledge. So. We're all feeling better about that? I know I am. Although I am a theory nerd, I want to bring you something that you can take away no matter where you are in your journey. And of course, want to thank today's sponsor, Antares. Let's get started. So let's first take a listen to the vocal, no harmonies, just me. Vibing on anxiety, swapping my reality away. This has seemed to almost become like the meme or almost just the one line I use in examples for my videos. This is a great melody to work with because it like descends a major scale. It's, it's just very straightforward melodically. So let's start here. Of the two methods, I wanna show you the easiest one first, most automatic, the one that's gonna get you to the end result fastest and allow you to stay creative. And that is using this plugin, the Harmony Engine by Antares. It is wild. Let me just show you what happens when you load this plugin up, you put it to the key you're in right here, and you go ahead and just hit play on it. I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away wild. That is just loading it up and, and I want to unpack what's going on here. So I'm going to show you with the plugin then how you can build this yourself. So never worry. But again, this is the fastest way to get from A to B when we're talking about coming up with harmony ideas. Like literally there's a third, a fifth just baked in right there and we can change it and experiment with it now. So the way that this plugin works is we have over here we can choose how we want it to determine a harmony. We can do it with the scale interval, which is the most common way because it'll only choose notes from the scale and then base the distance of the harmony off of this parameter here. So we want it to stay five intervals away. It'll create a fifth. If we want to stay three intervals away, it'll create a third up or down and then octaves, all that wonderful stuff. And then we can go ahead and set our key and our scale. And that's all you have to do. So now I have great starting places for my harmonies, or it almost sounds like a vocoder tucked this into a vocal stack. So let's go ahead and hear what it did. So the first thing that we had here that is not an octave or the source is the third, which is the main starting point for a lot of harmony. I'm vibing on anxiety, swiping my reality away. And then a fifth up here. I'm vibing on anxiety, swiping my so now I already have two ideas that I could go ahead and sing and see how I like how it sits in the mix, which is really just so cool. Now, if you don't like those harmonies, maybe not sitting right with melodically what's going on, you can go ahead up here to the interval and change the distance away from the lead. So maybe I didn't like that, this upper third going up a third and I wanted to try it going down and see, oh, maybe. I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. And now I could go ahead and just flip it to a third down, which is another very common harmony spot. I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. Which is actually, that's the harmony I used in the song. It's a third below the lead, not above. Now, if you're the kind of person who doesn't know the theory, I'm gonna walk through how we can get through that together and you can craft this yourself. But again, this plugin makes it so easy and so immediate to get something really interesting to work with. So as you use this plugin starting out, you're probably gonna wanna use thirds, fourths, fifths, and sixths are gonna be the most kind of common things you would wanna do. So for example, a sixth down. I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. That sounds really cool. None of these necessarily sound bad. I'm totally great is now three, four, five, sixths up, down. You have eight cool combinations to try starting out with your song, and then you can see how it fits in the context. I'm so. falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. I don't really like the feel of that one, so I'd probably stick with the third down here and use that as a harmony starting point. All right, we're gonna come back to this plugin, but I wanna show you how you can build something like this yourself, just using your brain meat. I want you to use the brain power together. So let me show you that now. Again, while not as quick or seamless, it gives you a nice tangible feel of building your harmonies and you can get a little experimentative in ways that you might have a little trouble doing when it's on autopilot stuck to a third. So the very first step in the second tactic is to go ahead and write out your melody on piano or on an instrument. So I have it here. It sounds like Christmas, that's wonderful. Now that I have this written out, I need to do 
two important things. First is to keep in mind what scale we are in. We are in B flat major. And I know that from a couple reasons. One, if you actually don't know, you can always take your vocal and pull up auto tune and take a look at which key you're in. On anxiety, uh -oh. my you know, it's like, I know now I'm not in, in C major. So what I would do is try to find the resolved note here in the melody, which is over here. My home bass sounding note. Swapping my reality away. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's a B flat. Swapping my reality away. Cool. So now if I go B flat major. Swapping my reality away. Cool. And now I'm in B flat major. So just a great way to find out your melody if, if you aren't familiar with how to do it. And find your key. And then now I know when I go to build harmonies off of knowing the key, I can move them to fit in place. We have a very tiny bit amount of theory to give in here, but it's very tiny, I promise. So the only thing you need to understand is the interval or distance between the notes. When people talk about thirds, which I'm sure you've heard of, they're saying that it's two jumps in the scale away. So it's a distance of a third. Two jumps in the scale is a third. So let me show you what that actually looks like. So if we're in the key of B flat major, and we know that the notes are Boom. Then two distances away in the scale from this note would be one, two. So that makes a third. Say if I start on C, I go one up to D and then one up to E flat. That's also a third. Now, different thirds have different flavors and colors. We're not gonna talk about that today. All that matters is we know how to get make that distance. From one note, if we wanna go a third up, we go two notches in the scale. When we go a third down, we go two notches down. A fifth up is four notches up. You get the point. So let's go back to our example here. So we have our melody. And now what we can do is I'll go ahead and just start by muting the original one. And then move our notes up a third, duplicate them up a third. Now, what you'll notice if I hit play on this is it's going to sound really gross. And that's because not all these notes line up with our key. So after I paste it up a third, what I'll do is then take a look at each note here in the harmony and see if it lines up with the key of B flat major. So it looks like this lines up, this lines up, this note does not. So if I have a D and I want it to stay a third up, so two intervals, at E flat and then F. So I need to move all of the F sharps down to an F. And then I need to move all of the E's to be two intervals above the C. So I moved everything to be in key. We should have a perfect third harmony. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we got out of the Harmony Engine. It does take a little more time, but now we have something we could play with. So if you want to go the autopilot, just boom, let's turn this on, let's go. Harmony Engine's gonna be great for you. If you wanna go a little more granular with it and have the ability to tweak each little note like this and listen back to it, this might be a better path for you. I know I love how quick Harmony Engine can be, especially for the non-Harmony people. So if we're gonna go with this path, we have a perfect third. Now, at this point, I'll go ahead and just go back and remute the original and now take a listen to it against our lead. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. And this is where now we can start getting creative on a granular level within the key. So sometimes a straight third is a little too straightforward. So I like to take a note sometimes and then try putting it in a different note on the scale and see if it's fun or if it sounds interesting. So for example, I might move that up one scale degree to a B flat and 7A. On anxiety, swiping my reality away. I kind of like how the extra descent sounds. I think that's cool. And I also don't quite like this. It sounds very jingle bells to me, that specific harmony. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this one up one scale degree to G, which is the next note in B flat. On anxiety, swiping my reality away. Huh, I think I like some of those notes. There we go. On anxiety, swiping my reality away. I like that. So see how when we draw out the harmony, 
it's more malleable and we can manipulate it however we want to create something more specific, more characterized to be perfect with the harmony. So I'm gonna go ahead and record both of these with my face and we'll listen to both so you can hear the end results that you can get. <laughs> Before I unveil these harmonies to you, I want to show you how you can combine both of these together in a really cool way. Because what we're doing is creating these harmonies with a sampled instrument, and that's really cool, but it would also be great to hear how it sounds on your voice. Now, Harmony Engine has that set and forget, you're in key, you're this far away kind of a feature. You can also feed it MIDI, and it will sing that harmony to you. So check this out. Now, all you have to do is change a MIDI tracks output to go into the Harmony Engine. And then you go into the Harmony Engine plugin and you're gonna go ahead and set the Harmony Control to MIDI Omni. And then, and what's really cool too, is it will also interpret each MIDI note onto a different track. So if I wanted to try to add something different, like, I have no idea. I am totally clicking this out of my butt right now. But we're gonna go ahead and just give it a shot. So if I added a second harmony. I could add it there and it assigns it to a different track. So now I have control. And I can blend it within Harmony Engine and then hear it in context with my original vocal. Swapping my reality away. So now we can combine the best of both worlds using the input control of the Harmony Engine, which is really cool. So now you get a closer representation of what your voice is gonna do with that harmony and then decide if you want to record it or not. Now, before you go, we're about to unveil the final harmony stacks. If I was gonna just create this off on its own, again, you can do this on your own. I've walked through that with you today and I also showed you how you can use Ontario's Harmony Engine to speed up the process, both for automatic harmonies or then taking MIDI and inputting it into there and then being able to hear it all together before you go in and record. So here is the stack that we created. First, just the solo vocal. I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. Still a certified clapper, don't you doubt it. And then here it is with three harmonies. We have a third, we have something droning in the middle, and then we have a nice low octave below. I'm falling on anxiety, swapping my reality away. Ooh, that is nice. Oh yeah. So you should have walked away with this with some incredible knowledge on how to build this for yourself with or without the plugin. Thanks again to Antares for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, please let me know in the comments down below. I love distilling it down for you in a way that anybody should be able to digest and take value back into their own songs. So until next time, remember, you're only one song away. Cheers.